Portland State's Millar Library presents 12 pages of an 18th century Agpeya. The carefully hand-drawn illuminated manuscript is a handwritten Coptic prayer book. Written on vellum, the majuscule script dates it to the early 18th century. By that time, almost all books were being printed. The use of hand scribing was rare, especially for illuminated manuscripts such as this one. The Agpeya is a book of hours. Books of hours are a schedule by which clergy and other religious practitioners ensure proper devotional practices. This book of hours contains the daily prayers associated with the Copt's canonical seven hours. The seven hours are the seven times throughout the day at which the Coptic prayers are made. A bishop, priest, or monk would have used this Agpeya to pray and lead services. What makes this Agpeya significant, other than its age, is the illumination. In addition to the seven hours, this prayer book is rubricated with red highlights and carefully drawn images of the saints associated with the Coptic hours. There are also beautiful hand-drawn archways adorning each section opening. Fortunately, the extant portion of the manuscript contains several examples of these archways and these saints. Page 1, which opens from left to right using Arabic pagination, begins the extant portion of the Agpeya. It contains both Coptic and Arabic script. A common feature of Coptic liturgy is the use of this bilingual script. The traditional use of both Coptic and Arabic is maintained throughout the text. Page 2 begins a series of decorative archways. Five pages of the extant manuscript are adorned in this way. They have been carefully drawn by hand in the Coptic style. Look closely how every line has been meticulously ruled in pencil before being drawn in color. Each archway contains a unique pattern and is meant to illuminate the beginnings of each section of the Agpeya. In the 3rd century CE, ancient Copts were considered masters of using dyes and crushed rocks to create vivid and lively images. Favorite colors were, among others, purple, yellow, red, and blue. The creator of this manuscript enthusiastically adorned his work with no less skill and devotion than his ancient predecessors. The Coptic writing that surrounds the perimeter of the archway reads, from left to right, We serve him, we worship you, we bless you, and we worship him. These are words that the congregation would repeat. The specific series of phrases comprise part of the anamnesis, which is a section of the Liturgy of the Faithful, just one section of the whole prayer book. Following this series of decorative archways are several pages of text, some of the text is written in Coptic with Arabic in the margins, and some pages are entirely in Arabic. The presence of both Arabic and Coptic, which is derived from the changes in the official language of the Coptic religion over the centuries, is a traditional part of Coptic liturgy. The text contains rubrication, various small decorations, and is all meticulously drawn by hand. The text is the liturgy of the daily office, the terse, third, sext, sixth, and none, ninth hours, all lead with a uniform introduction, which begins, In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen, Lord have mercy. The opening to the midnight office is longer, but unfortunately, the manuscript we have contains only a fragment of the first of these, which states only, With God and Jesus Christ. Like most books of ours, this manuscript contains iconography as decoration and also to emphasize the various stories told in the text, the doxologies. The extant manuscript contains illumination of three saints from the doxologies. The images of the saints that have survived are George, Theodore, and Mercurios. In the depiction, St. George is slaying the dragon, a well-known hagiographical story of George's piety. St. Theodore the Eastern is slaying paganism with a cross-tipped spear here represented allegorically by Theodore's lance piercing a man, the Roman Emperor, and removing him from his seat of power. And Saint Mercurios is slaying Julian the Apostate. The presence of warrior saints is not uncommon in early Christian liturgy. Many early saints were Roman soldiers who converted, defying their emperor, during periods of mass proscription, which has resulted in this rather martial depiction of their martyrdom. The devotion, detail, and diligence exhibited by the priest who hand-illuminated this manuscript are welcome additions to the Millar Library's special collection.
Субтитры